Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. If you remember in the previous session using the functions we received the number of the emails and we showed it in the URL as an output. Okay, what we did was simulation that is we use the emails but you can do it for when you have a new backup ticket or have a new offer or anything else on your site you can save it on an app and then get the number if there was anything new then notify the admin now what we want to do we can see the numbers we can see the numbers manually anytime we want to see what we want to do now is to using a javascript code make this dynamic so that for instance every minute or any time that we want this timer starts working and shows us the answer something like this what we said we are doing this as a test using what we are doing now we can do many more things it is just for test so that we get to know what we are doing here okay in order to make this happen when the admin page is open there are two options we can either do it on the master page if we enter the script code whenever i am on all the admin pages it's going to show up this function is going to work and our javascript code will be activated but if only i set this for the home page then this will only occur when i am on the home page we we'll set this on the master so that we won't have no problems with other parts in the head tag here we open a script okay uh, inside the script i define a variable first and if counter equals zero the value and then a sync function we define a function worker and then i say inside this function counter plus plus counter plus one console.log it writes call for instance and counter now on the first step we just want to see this counting in the console and then tell it to read our numbers so we say set interval worker and for instance we set it on 10,000 save okay now I refresh the admin page and then we hit the F12 button and check my console this is our console and call one Okay, here it has been performed call two as you see here the output that I said I said every 10 seconds call and show the number of the counter to me call three and as you see my function is being repeated every 10 seconds but uh, still uh, we have not told it to read this dictionary in this URL and give us the output I have just set up a counter and as you see it is doing the counting so up to here there is no problem and my counting is being done every 10 seconds I say cons response equals await fetch 
and we write the address yeah inside the fetch a slash the address that we set for this function a slash show a slash data okay data just like that and then again I say cons my JSON equals await response dot JSON okay open parentheses semicolon and then I say console dot log my JSON okay up to now we said go to this show a slash data address get this JSON file and print it in the console we are still have not said we want to get the number I want to tell it to print the result in the output as a dictionary the dictionary can have a lot of data I refresh and wait for it to be done okay call one as you see the first call has been done and count for my dictionary has been given here then after 10 seconds the second call and count for what happened again as you see our function and dictionary is working and being shown we ask it to be shown now we want to read the value of 4 we say let object a variable equals okay json dot parcel and it is json yep dot string file open parentheses my json Okay, and then what do we do? We say console. Again, we want to print it. Dot log. It is object dot status. What was the name of our field? The name of our field is count so we change our status and here it should be count okay now we said what should it do we said read the JSON file and show us the count inside it okay here I refresh the site let's see as you see it shows the four values and now we have the output every 10 seconds okay and then we just need to say alert okay Mails count and comma object dot count. Okay. All right. As you see, every 10 seconds I said, show me a message. Of course, we told it to show us the count. 
but it didn't. Let's see what the problem is. Okay. In order to increase it and set it on one minute. Now every one minute it gives us a message. Let's see, it needs to give us the notification every one minute. It still isn't one minute. We are waiting for the one minute to be over. So let's just wait. Okay, we are still waiting again. Yeah, this message is being shown to us right now. Yeah, but it doesn't print the number of the news. Okay, let's see. This is as plus. Let's see if the problem will be solved. As you notice, we can set the timer any way we want. And four. Now it is working properly. We made a mistake in setting a comma. Here we increase the space and now every 10 seconds i am getting this output both here and there because we are printing it in the console and we are seeing it as a message email count for it is showing the number of emails if i go over here and register another email let's wait for 10 seconds until gets refreshed now email count is five now using this function and the code that we wrote we can set up an action on our site we close the log and cancel and we can set the timer on one minute or depending on our needs at any moment that we want and it automatically checks our function every one minute and if there is any new information it gives it to us this part of the site can be really practical